In this video, we will explain how to install the App Series IPBBX. We will take S300 as an example. In the whole installation and wiring process, the device must remain powered off. Loosen the screws on the two sides of the enclosure. Remove the upper cover. Push out the empty board from inside of the device. Push in the expansion boards EX80 and EX30. Lock the screws to fix the expansion board. Before everything, examine the module carefully and check if the pins are intact without twist or damage. Now align the pins with holes and insert the module. Press down the module. For cellular module, you need to insert the SIM card and antenna. Push open the SIM card holder, insert the SIM card, and push back the holder. Connect the antenna to the relevant connector. Insert the D30 module into the D slot from a tilt angle, and then press it down. Lock the screws to fix the D30 module. Lock the hard disk on the bracket. Push the hard disk into the interface. Lock the screws to fix the hard disk. After finishing installing the balls and the modules, slide the cover back and fix the screws. The TF slash SD card can be used to store recording files, call detail records, and voicemail. We recommend the following SD card and TF card for usage with S-Series. Please power off the device before the installation. Please power off the device before the installation. Plug one end of the network cable into the LAN port and the other end to a switch or router. Connect the power interface of the device to a power source and switch on the power. A green power indicator indicates that S series is supplied with power. The system indicator starts flashing, which means the system is running properly. If the system indicator does not light up or is not flashing, it means something is wrong with the system. Next, based on telephony modules that have been installed, connect the trunks accordingly. Use the E1T1 cable to connect the provider with the E1T1 port on S-Series. Connect the RJ11 ports according to the color of the indicators. Indicator 1 to 8 indicates the status of port 1 to 8 respectively. If the indicator does not light up, either the slot or the module is damaged. The module slot corresponds to the indicator as the following picture shows. 
The red light indicates the status of FXO port or mobile trunk. On this device, the slot 1 has installed O2 module. So indicator 1 and 2 present the status of FXO port. A solid red light means the port is idle and can be used. A slowly flashing red light means no FXO line has been connected. A quickly flashing red light means the trunk is being used. On slot 2, we have installed the GSM module. A solid red light means the trunk is idle and can be used. A slowly flashing light means the module does not have SIM card inserted. A quickly flashing red light means the trunk is being used. Green light indicates FXS port status. A solid green light means the port is idle and can be used. A flashing green light means the port is busy. Yellow light indicates BRI port status. A flashing yellow light means no BRI line has been connected. A solid yellow light means the trunk is idle and can be used.